One of the most popular roles in the game is the role of tank. Tank builds don't specialize in scoring eliminations on other players, or on using stealth or agility to avoid attacks. Rather, tank players have one goal, to control space. They have to be intimidating, hard to move, and hard to defeat. In a lot of cases, this involves being larger than your competition. Think builds like the elephant and hippopotamus. However, being larger than the predator players in the region doesn't have to be the case. Enter the hog build. Unlike most tanks, which tend to dump most of their points into HP, hogs are actually quite balanced stat-wise, with great damage because of their powerful bite and tusks, and surprisingly high intelligence too. Hogs also have a massive advantage over most tanks in that rather than being herbivorous, hogs are generalists that can eat just about anything, making them extremely adaptable. Their adaptability is why even though several different hog builds live across just about every server, they don't differ too much between builds. There are three I want to highlight, the boar, the warthog, and the babarusa. The boar is the largest and boasts the highest intelligence, HP, and power of all the hogs. There's also the warthog, the premier hog build in the African server. Because warthogs would be significantly outgunned even if they had the boar's combat stats, warthogs opt for a more mobility-centered playstyle, using their agility to dodge attacks from assassins like lions and leopards. With that said, warthogs do also have larger tusks which grants them a higher chance to crit for massive damage. Most of this video will focus on these two since they best exemplify the powerful traits hogs possess. The Babarusa is a build I discussed in my flawed builds video. It has very similar stats to the Warthog, but has the tooth regeneration ability, which in the right situation can be very powerful, but in the Babarusa's case, means that unless the player frequently breaks their tusks, eventually they'll grow so long that they'll start inflicting stab damage on the player's own weak point. Not much else to say about them, so let's get back to the hog overview. So in terms of special abilities, hogs have two main ones in addition to their omnivory. The first is venom resistance. Now hogs don't actually have any special perks that specifically counteract venom, but they do have skin that's so thick that snake fangs are actually unable to deliver venom to the bloodstream, which lets them shrug off most bites without much concern. This makes the hog build an excellent counter to the snake class. Their second and more important ability is their snout, which has two important functions. The first is detecting loot such as tubers, eggs, and nuts. Pigs have an unsurprisingly excellent sense of smell, which is critical because unlike most tank builds, they did not spec into the ruminant ability. Ruminant players can eat pretty much any plant and gain enough experience to sustain themselves. But hogs have to find special, more rare sources in order to keep their playthrough going. It's not enough to just be able to detect loot though especially if it's hidden somewhere below the ground. Luckily for pig mains, their most recognizable and impactful ability is their ability to dig. Hooves grant a speed bonus on rough and flat terrain, but they have three main weaknesses. They offer no mobility bonus for swimming, they actually incur a movement penalty on soft terrain like sand and snow, and they're pretty poor digging tools. Digging is a skill that's usually only available to players who expect into paws or claws rather than hooves but because pigs have snouts that are reinforced with both extra bone and cartilage, their snouts can basically be used like a shovel, which is perfect for unearthing all sorts of rare and valuable loot. Digging helps offset another big weakness that hogs have. They can't cool themselves down on their own. They don't have the ability to sweat, of course, since that's an exclusive human ability. So what hogs have to do is use their snouts to dig up mud to wallow in. Wallowing grants them a temporary heat resistance buff, which is crucial for succeeding in places like the African server. Both the Wild Boar and the Warthog boast considerable offensive strength in addition to their other abilities. Their charge attack can deal significant enough damage to deter most Predator players, and even completely eliminate them from the game if multiple hogs attack at once. However, hogs used to be far stronger offensively, so strong in fact that at one point the devs had to nerf their attack strength. Back during the Miocene expansion, there was a build known by the community as the Hell Pig. Even though it was technically part of the Hippo faction and not a true hog build, it laid the groundwork for the playstyle that the later hogs would emulate. While it didn't have as high of an intelligence level as modern hogs do, it far outclassed them in both HP and power. Hell pigs were still omnivorous, but because they had the strength to easily take down other players, they erred more on the side of carnivore than today's hog builds do. They hunted in packs and either took down prey themselves or used their absolutely broken intimidation abilities to steal loot from other solo predator mains. Instead of tusks, hell pigs had massive fangs that could easily one-shot most players from that time. 
Even though they had the stats to function as a tank, they were so powerful that they were usually played in mostly offensive roles. Eventually, after they spent a good stretch of time as the number one build in the meta, the devs dropped the Ice Age balance patch. Large, muscular builds like the Hell Pig couldn't deal with the ice damage and fell out of the meta, leaving their niche open for the modern pig build, which had thick, cold-resistant skin and fat stores, to come in and wreak havoc. Now, at this point, I've discussed all the relevant honk builds from past and present, but I bet you're wondering why I haven't discussed these. And that's because the pigs that humans farm and spawn and kill are literally just wild boar. They aren't a separate build. They have exactly the same stats and abilities, and on occasions where they've escaped, populations of feral pigs quickly revert to their wild form. It's for this reason that if human civilization ever disappeared, pigs would easily dominate most servers. So hopefully now you have a better grasp on the stats and special abilities of the pig build. I'd place them at the high end of A tier, being excellent generalist tanks that can adapt to just about any challenge. However, they lack that X factor to really get them into S tier like their ancient counterparts were. Objection! Whoa, 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 whoa. I feel like you're not giving our Porky partners enough credit here. Pigs are easily S tier once you consider their unique function as a human support class. Matt, I get that you and the Extra Credits crew think that bacon is worth a ton of experience, but being farmed and spawn killed by humans doesn't really make you a support class. Oh, I'm not talking about livestock, my good man. You're completely overlooking their historical significance. Pigs were instrumental during the colonialization of the New World, arguably even more than horses. In fact, did you know, in some cases, pigs actually modified new ecosystems long before the Europeans did? Hmm, perhaps I should reconsider. Tirzu, I can convince you, I promise. Just follow me over to our new Hogtastic episode of Extra History via the link in the description below to learn the full story. And as an added bonus, see a bunch of cute drawings of pigs. I certainly will. See you there. Thank you.